Right guys, welcome to this video. We're up to video 25 of how to train like a samurai. I hope you're enjoying it. You're gonna see the other um, five videos now. Uh, please leave comments below what you think of these videos. They're actually put up on my other channel, which is Natori Ryu, but um, nobody goes there, so I thought I may as well put them up here as well. I put them up individually there in my Natori channel, which I don't know why you guys are not over there. But today is Natori Day, and uh, it's the 5th of May. It celebrates the death of Isu Sensei, and we do Natori Ryu. So um, I'm posting up multiple videos today on that channel. So I just wanted to know how you're enjoying these. We're a quarter of the way to 100, so when you finish this video, video we've got three more times of what we've done and we'll be up to a hundred videos on samurai training that's historical without doubt historical training on the way to act and be like a samurai and you should be watching it let me know what you think in the comments below okay how can we use yamabushi now we're working from samurai arms armor and the tactics of warfare and we're on yamabushi no koto and we're in our natori blank workbook both on amazon now the yamabushi so basically, those who prostrate themselves in the mountains to gain um, supernatural powers. That's the origin of the Yamabushi. Now, many people say Yamabushi and Ninja are connected. That's not so true, to be honest. The disguise of the Yamabushi is used because they can move around quite easily. Now, uh, Isu Sensei tells us they should be used for prayer services for samurai. So if a samurai wants some prayers doing over him, they can do incantations. Also, they can pray to the gods for samurai, but also they should be used as kanja spies. Now, um, if you can find a good one to go off and use them, then use them. This is because the Yamabushi's um, or the Yamabushi uh, background, if you like, to become a Yamabushi is very difficult. The prayers and all the incantations you need to know. So it can be easy to find out if somebody's fake, unless they really know a lot about Buddhism, because Yamabushi know a lot about it. So it says, use these four Kanja spies instead of trying to pretend to be one, because it's easier to do. Of course, you can still try to be one. Isu Sensei tells us about that in the show Ninki. But if you can, use a real one. So that's how samurai um, would use Yamabushi as spies. The next thing we're going to do with in our series is actually drummers. So this is Taiko Uchi. So ignore the colours, they're just the colours I'm using the highlighters, nothing specific. Specific, But basically a drummer will drum on his back and will hold it on his back and somebody will drum with him. Now you get different ways here to um, basically drum. Now you get a 3-4-5 rhythm, boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. And that means show to go. Now, this is a difficult one. I won't go in here because I'm doing short videos. But basically, that's the variations of the middle, beginning, and the end of um, the conflict. That's a difficult thing to go through. But no, there is a division between beginning, middle, and end. But uh, again, we'll do that in another one. Kuji, which is obvious, four and a five. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Rin, chio, to, sha. Kaijin Retsu Zai Zen. <coughs> then withdrawing an arm is a 4-4 four, four rhythm. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. Yeah. And then we get attack with an army. 3-5 rhythm. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, sorry, 3-5. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. And then you get uh, attack the castle, which is a 4-3 rhythm. Boom, 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 boom. We have actually got a video of this from um, Lewis, one of our um, uh, assistant instructors. So there you go, guys. Don't forget you're working in the Natori Blank workbook. Get it done. Use highlighters so it doesn't go through. And the information is from page 236 in the Book of Samurai 2. So enjoy. Today we're going to be working on uh, Kai Fuku no Koto, which is conch shells. Now these conch shells, you know, where you blow them. Mm. Now in Natoru, it's got, it shows you what we should do. And basically you should um, sound them off in battle. When battle is going, you've got to be like, mm. and what they do is they start slow, get high, and then they cut off strong like that. Now um, you can use them for signals in though. It can, it doesn't have to be a strong cut off. So basically, if you have a weak cough, like, mm, it means you've got the coward's voice. But if you have a strong cough, mm, it's like the bravery voice. But um, you can have a coward's voice if you're signaling. Mm, mm, you can have um, long notes, mm, and you have vibrato. Mm, 
but and you can use signals like that. You can also use it for Kuji. Yep, Kuji Rim Yoto Sha Kaijin Retsuzai Ten. So and then, but you don't use the word Fuku, which is strange because actually he does use the word Fuku, but Fuku means to blow. And Tatsu, I think he's stand and use them. So um, you can Tatsuru, which I think he's stand and use them. So instead of saying I blow the conch shell, I'm going to stand the conch shell. The same happens with flags. You stand them and you roll them. You don't you don't bring them down. You roll them away and you erect them. So it's a case of the words you use are more disciplined with that so it's natori you it's natori day today guys so i'm going to do three videos today so uh, let's do the other two right the next thing we're going to work on is kane no yaku which is gongs now gongs are metal sort of you know you know what a gong is but if you don't a gong is a metal disc um or shape that you can hit and it bong gongs out you in the west we have them as dinner gongs uh, but very few people use gongs anymore for anything so um oh i've not colored in the stick so again, I'm using the Natori workbook and we're using Samurai Arms, Armor and the Tactics of Warfare. And what we're doing now is we are basically going to talk about how gongs are used in battle. Now, before we use drums to signal the ad advance and retreat and gongs are used for the same, but primarily the gong should be louder or more used for retreat, whereas drums should be louder and more used for advance. So you can sort of hear that in the distance, everything's going, they work together, the gongs, the trumpets, the conch shells, and the um, drums all work together for Kuji. Imagine a trumpet, a gong, and a drum doing Kuji. Rin, pyo, to, sha, kai, jin, you know, it's, it's gonna be really good. But they should be more prominent on the gongs and less on the drums, because drums get you going with aggression. So, so they should be used in battle, but you don't use them on the ships. The reason you don't use them on ships is because a gong is metal and it's of a yin element. Water is of a yin element. So yin plus yin equals greater yin, which is a symbol of defeat. So gongs are never used at sea. Metal instruments are not used in, in, in the sea in Japan because yin and yin together is too much yin, which is not, it's defeat, it's retreat, it's darkness it's hiding it's all those things so you don't use the gong at sea right this one that we're going to do now is uh, going to take us to uh, kanapori these are miners people who mine underground so we've got the castle and you've got the little miners now the miners are going to put in they're going to dig in there and they dig with a spade not a hole so you dig out with a spade and not a hole uh, i don't know the practical reason for that but i'm sure it's probably to do with it not collapsing you fill out the air internals with wooden planks and you build a tunnel underground and then you start undermining undermining is where the word comes from the castle fortifications um but the people in the castle what they do is they put a big jar in the ground and they listen because the echoes of the mining will come in to the jar and you can hear come Cling, cling, echoed in the jar like an amplifier. So the jar itself has become a speaker. Now, so that's mining. Remember the idea if we've got trench warfare we did, there's miners going on, there's shell, conch shells being blown, there's um, drums going off. It's a sound is amazing. But in just to finish off this section and this chapter, we also have the other things we have inside a war are um, horse experts, carpenters, blacksmiths, fletchers, bowyers, stringers, so somebody to make the bows, somebody to make the arrows and the um, fletchings, and somebody to make the stringers, plasterers and painters. These are all people that you need on. And of course, including that, you get sarugaku, which are um, theatrical performers, and outcasts. Outcasts get rid of bodies and dead horses and the stuff like that. Whereas uh, theatrical people entertain and do all that. They sort of help the spirit um, you know, the spirit of the um, the war, if you know what I mean, the, the war effort, and they keep people entertained, almost like the jester of the, the time. Right, that is the end of the chapter. I'm going to go back to the beginning of the book and start on the stuff that I missed because I started about partway through because I was studying and I decided to do this video series when I was partway through the book. So we're going to go back to the beginning of that and start at the beginning of Heiki Yoho, get about halfway through to where I started, and then we'll move on to maybe Ipe Yoko after that. So I hope you're enjoying the series, guys. Let me know what you think.